Yeah, tryptophan is available now in most uh, countries. It was banned for about 15 to 20 years in many countries because of a contaminated lot from Japan. But my thinking is it's better to use natural things as much as possible. Synthetic tryptophan has what's called a short half-life. The half-life of synthetic tryptophan is an hour. So it will help you fall asleep, but it will not maintain sleep. If you have the, the natural tryptophan, it's bound together with other amino acids. So when you eat it, it comes on very, very slowly and breaks out of the other amino acid bonds. So it takes a longer time, but it stays around all night long. So there's an advantage for natural amino acids than there is for synthetic amino acids. The other thing that's interesting, if you take synthetic tryptophan and you heat it up, it breaks down very, very quickly, very quickly. If you take natural tryptophan and you heat it up, the amount actually goes up, not down. And because of probably the bonds within the amide bonds of the peptide chain. So in a way, the tryptophan in a natural way is only one water group different from the synthetic tryptophan, but that one water group has enormous impact on how it functions in our body.